Yesterday I posted a video TAT number 10. I think I had it posted probably for an hour, maybe two hours, and then YouTube took it down. Sent me an email, said that I violated their community standards. The first email they sent me said that I violated their standards that were related to giving out personally identifiable information. So I appealed it and they responded about 30 minutes later and said that the appeal was denied and they were going to remove the video and I have no, nothing further to say about it. They, they gave me the reason for them appealing it or denying my appeal was because they said I violated their community standards, but this time they accused me of cyberbullying and harassment, threats, and cyberbullying. Harassment, threats, and cyberbullying. So I went through the video, tried to figure out where any of this was coming from, and I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't figure it out. So. I'm redoing it today. I'm going to reword some things, and as soon as I come back, we'll get started. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. So, I like doing these TATs because it's it's this and that you know it's just random stuff you know I get emails from people that ask me questions sometimes and if I get enough questions I like to turn them into Q&A's but sometimes I don't have enough questions to really dedicate a whole video to Q&A uh, so I, I do what's called a this and that a TAT and this is TAT number 10 this is 10 part 2 <laughs> since part 1 was removed I uh, I got an email or I got a response from one of my viewers, John H. Don't know what his last name is, and he said I, this was in reference to the video that I did about the expat that came here and is giving out money to Venezuelan and beggars. And I think everybody knows how I feel about giving money to Venezuelan and beggars. They have a reputation here for uh, I have to be careful what I say. I don't want YouTube to kick this video out. They just have a reputation that's not becoming of the character of Ecuador. When you see a beggar on the street here in Ecuador, it's usually not an Ecuadorian. Everybody around here will tell you that most of those beggars are Venezuelans. And their reputation precedes them. You give them a dollar, they'll want two. Give them two, they'll want four. They understand the laws of uh, compounding, I guess. But anyway, I always tell people don't give to the beggars. But there was a one guy that came here and he insists on giving to them. And kind of goes against the the standards of our community here because we tell people we tell especially expats that if you start throwing money around to beggars here you're creating a problem for everybody you're not only putting yourself in danger but you're making it hard for other expats that are here and locals too so you hear us tell all the time don't tip too much don't don't throw the the, the economy off balance here by uh, doing it the way we do it in the United States. It's okay to be generous with your money if you want to, but you know there's charity here that you can donate to. There's the Yellow Submarine, which is a charity that I was involved in last year. There's several children's charities here that we can put you in touch with and you can donate your money to them. And you can be a, as anonymous as you want to be. So anyway, I got a comment from John Ace. He said, why would you care if someone helps another person? This total lack of empathy is no way to grow a channel. 
so I, I, I responded to John and told him that, explain what I just basically explained to you. And I also asked him that if he was a, an expert on how to grow a channel, I'd, I'm all ears. I'd like to hear what he's got to say about it. But for somebody that doesn't know me personally, I don't know who John H. is. I don't, he has a picture on there and I, I, I can see the picture, but I don't recognize him. So I don't think I know him. He probably knows more about me than I know about him if he watches this channel. I don't want to lose him as a subscriber, but I also, you know, to accuse me of, of lack of empathy is far from wrong. I mean, it's far from the truth. I mean, I, 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 I'm all about empathy. So, I just wanted to make that clear. It's, it's. This this issue has nothing to do with empathy. It's about using common sense and protecting yourself and protecting the other people around you. The other thing I wanted to talk about was I have a friend here who has a YouTube channel. His name is Carmen. The name of his channel is Ecuador Raw and Real. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Carmen is a friend of mine. I've known him since I've been here, <clears throat> since he and his wife arrived, and they have a child with them. Uh, in my opinion, they're good people, they're, they're salt of the earth people, they're from Canada. And he has this Ecuador Raw and Real channel where he, he does a lot more than I do when it comes to showing... Um, what, what Manta is really all about. There's a lot of parts of Manta that I don't show. And a lot of that just has to do with the fact that I don't walk much because of problems that I have with my feet. And which will be, we're going to start fixing that this week. I have my first surgery uh, on Wednesday afternoon. After I recover from the surgery on my both of my feet, then I'll be free to get out and walk like a normal person and do the same things that Carmen does. But what Carmen does that I don't do is that he shows you the streets of Monta. He puts he straps his GoPro on and he takes off and he goes everywhere and he's not shy about it. I'm shy about having a camera strapped to me and walking around the public because people look at me and wonder, you know, what's that guy doing? But Carmen is really good at it. And I got to say, he's raw. So, if you will, go check out his channel and subscribe, okay? He's, we all, all of us YouTubers, a lot of us like to work together. There's some of us that don't want to work with anybody. I even had one, a couple that was here that, Offered to interview me and never happened. They skipped town, took off. You probably know who I'm talking about. So anyway, go check out Carmen's Raw and Real YouTube channel and please subscribe. Uh, he needs uh, help with, in that regards. He's a new YouTuber, so he's learning as he's going along. I help him as much as I can and speaking of which if anybody happens to have uh, a used DSLR camera that you want to get rid of and if I can afford it please let me know I, I would be interested in buying it we I want it for I want it to give to Carmen so that he can have a DSLR to record with so he can uh, use a mic system and and uh, produce a little better quality videos. He, he produces quality videos right now. He uses a GoPro, but he can attach a mic, an external mic, like what I have here in my pocket, to, a Go, to his particular GoPro. I, I think there are GoPros now that you can, but I'm not sure about that. But if, if you happen to have a secondhand DSLR that you want to get rid of, and if it's affordable contact me here's my email address right here it's, 
and let me know what you've got and let's see if we can work something out okay let's help this guy out I was fortunate I had all kinds of gear that I brought with him because I've been a photographer for years but Carmen's starting out and he he's he's very promising and I think he has a great future uh, in this arena the third thing I want to talk about that I talked about yesterday was the IVA tax as you know I, IVA tax is like sales tax you'll see it on every receipt I uh, I'm going to show you one here this is my receipt from Dulce and Cremoso where I eat breakfast yes, where I eat breakfast almost every morning and they show here on here if you look just right above my I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not but there is IBA tax it's 54 cents on my grocery receipt from yesterday where I went to Mega Maxi my IBA tax was five dollars and ninety six cents well guess what folks if you're over 65 you can get most of that back on a monthly basis from SRI SRI is the local taxing authority just like the IRS and it's my understanding you can go over there and with your cedula and register with them and whenever you make a purchase anywhere here in Ecuador especially in the big box stores you know and I'm not talking about the little tiendas they, they won't have be able to do this for you but the, the bigger stores um, you'll you'll almost always want to present your cedula to them because they'll take that number and they'll key it in to the register and then when you're complete SRI will know that you paid that tax I got a comment from somebody yesterday about that tax and said that, well there is a, there is a limit on how much you get my understanding is that you can get up to a hundred and seven dollars a month back if you're over 65 okay I don't know about people under 65 or maybe I, I probably need to do a little bit more research on this before I say too much about this but I'm, I'm gonna do that I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'll create a dedicated video very soon about the whole IBA tax issue the other thing I want to talk about is me removing comments if you leave a comment that I don't think is meets the standards of this channel and which you know you can boil down the standards to my channel to two words be nice okay if you if you're not nice and you you leave a derogatory comment or you attack another uh, subscriber which I've seen from time to time I'm going to remove the comment okay so please don't be offended and if, if you ever leave a comment and you see that it's been removed here's my email address go ahead and email me and ask me you know tell me that your comments missing and I'll, most likely I'll remember who you know the comment and I'll tell you why I removed it okay I, I don't have to do that very often I mean I have a hundred ninety videos posted down I don't know how many thousands of comments I go through the comments every single day especially right after I post a new video and so I you know I, I read these comments folks and 99.99% of them stay right where they are but every once in a while I have to remove one the other thing I wanted to mention about fixing the culture is something that I don't know what it is about expats they come here from the United States or North America Canada you know Australia all around the world and they see things that happen here with the culture here and they think that they can change it I read an article in one of the local papers last week about this topic and about changing the culture fixing the culture here I, and the way this author finished the article he said something to the effect that if you want to fix this culture here 
go back and fix your own culture first. Can you imagine going to the United States and trying to fix the culture in the United States? My Lord. If you can't fix the culture in the United States, don't think you can fix it here. I've been here 16 months, going on 17 months now, and I've batted my brains out trying to figure out how I can get things changed here. Things that are just culture, not going to happen, folks. It's just not going to happen. So, if you think you're going to fix the culture and you want to fix the culture, go back and fix yours first. And then you come back and talk to us. The last thing I want to talk about is I got an email from Manny. He asked me about a dentist. It's been a while since I talked about Top Dental. Uh, I don't get paid by them for talking about them, but they are my dentist. They are, in my opinion, the best dentist you can have in all of Ecuador, as far as I'm concerned. That's just my opinion. I'm sure there are some people that will come up and mention other dentists, but in Top Dental here with Dr. Victor Corinna and his associate dentist, uh, Dr. Ortiz, super guys. They speak English. They're very gentle. People have said, oh, I hate needles and I hate, you know, having stuff done in my mouth. And I'm telling you, the last time I got a shot from Dr. Victor, I didn't even feel it. I didn't even know he was doing it. So, I've had, first time I saw him, I had 21 stitches put in my mouth. And Dr. Carino is the first dentist that ever gave me a shot in my butt. He gave me two the day he did all my surgery. One was for pain, one was for an antibiotic, I believe. Never had a dentist in the United States. You know, they basically say, take some aspirin and go home. They don't care about you there, anyway. But, Top Dental, right here in Monte, they're the best. Give them a call. I saved so much money with them. They wanted 30 plus thousand dollars in the United States to do what Top Dental did for me for a third of that, or less. It was under ten thousand dollars. I had full implant surgery, and upper mouth, upper arch restoration. So give them a call. So anyway, that's it. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Then you know what you can do. So have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.